have you ever wondered what it actually takes to be a biomedical scientist what the cost entails how long does the cost take how easy it is to get a job like really how much do i get paid at the end of the day <laughs> In today's video, we're going to be talking about seven very, very important things you need to know if you're considering biomedical science as a course. In the UK, we are called biomedical scientists. In some countries like Nigeria, we are called medical laboratory scientists. Now, while in some countries, we're also still called medical laboratory technologists. Whatever country you go to, we still remain the cool kids in white. Now, who is a biomedical scientist? A biomedical scientist is somebody actually trained in biology in the concept of laboratory medicine or laboratory science. Now, what do you mean by laboratory medicine, laboratory science? Anything that has to do with conducting of tests, carrying out of examination, re research, anything laboratory, that's what we actually do. So that's basically what's called laboratory medicine. Still, let's come down a bit now. Anything that has to do with human samples, when we talk about human samples, human samples vary from blood samples to air samples to tissue samples to aspirate to swabs and yes, even to waste materials produced by humans. When I say waste materials, I mean urine and feces, yes. We can analyze anything relating to humans and basically what we do when we analyze the samples, we analyze them, we bring out, we generate data that actually helps us to understand what is going on in an individual system. If you're fighting an infection, if you're actually going through uh, metabolic changes, basically things like that. And this result is actually what helps the doctor actually decide on a course of treatment or the next possible course of action for an individual. So most of the time, you see when you go to the doctors, they always say, oh, we're going to be sending you for a CBC or a full blood count or a panel of tests, basically, just because they want to actually have a comprehensive overview of what is going on in your system before they can actually decide a next course of action now the people that do those work you know who they are right we are the biomedical scientists so you can see us as a bit of behind the scene we are on the front line but we're not in the front line basically there are doctors who are your like direct line of contact and then the nurses who obviously you get in contact with while you are in the world or in the hospitals then there are the biomedical scientists and now biomedical scientists are not just restricted to just the hospital settings there are a lot of different settings that biomedical scientists actually work and function in we'll go into more details about that in subsequent video what you need to actually be able to study biomedical science or medical laboratory science in your undergrad is basically a background in sciences when i say a background in sciences meaning that in your high school a levels or secondary school as the case may be you actually studied biology chemistry physics maths and english i don't know if non-english speaking countries actually do english but basically biology chemistry physics and maths those four they are important yes they're important those are the course so depending on institution depending on country there are different credits requirement or grade requirements basically that you actually need to be able to maybe apply for a course in biomedical science how long does the course take what's the course duration now this is actually also depending actually varies also depending on institution and countries i'm going to be talking about five major countries that i know in nigeria to get a bachelor's degree in medical laboratory science the course program runs actually for five years in ghana the program runs for four years in the uk yeah the program runs for three years but then if you have a placement here it makes it four years the program itself actually runs for a three-year course without a placement here and a four-year course with a placement here depending on whatever institution you are in in the u.s it actually runs for four years and in canada it runs for four years now even in all these country listed different institutions have different slight variation this is like a general overview of, or a general duration stated in this country so nigerian five nigeria is the highest with five years so there are four main specialties or what i'll call subtypes in biomedical science and that is the medical microbiology and immunology and under medical microbiology we have the bacteriology we have the mycology we have immunology we have molecular biology and parasitology they are actually broad specialties hence why in many places you actually see that in your last year you will be asked to specialize because they feel 
it's a broad place just like the way for doctors you actually either specialize in emergency medicine or surgery or something basically the same concept actually applies to biomedical science apart from medical microbiology we also have the chemical pathology now it's all it's either called chemical pathology or clinical chemistry then the third one we have is actually the hematology and blood transfusion service so it's called hematology general or blood sciences in some places so it's either called hematology or it's called blood sciences what one which is the last but not the least is actually histopathology slash cellular pathology now you see i'm seeing a lot of slash because in some places you might get there and they they call it histopathology but then there are some places that call say define it as cellular pathology so depending on places but they all still mean the same thing like there are no variations let's go into the fifth part this is where it starts getting fun that is after graduation unlike some other classes where after graduation you just start applying for a job immediately after graduating you have to actually be licensed by whatever body operates in whatever country you are in every country has a, like a licensing body that actually regulates the health professions so now for in, in the uk it's called the hcpc in nigeria it's called the mlscn i'm very sure in other in um, the us is the ASCPI. um in canada is the cm CMLS, I'm not sure about that, but I'll correct that on the screen. In Ghana, I'm not sure about what it's called. Every country has a governing body that actually takes care of licensing of medical laboratory sciences or biomedical sciences. So before you can even practice, even if you've undergone the course, you actually have to be licensed. So immediately after graduation, the very first thing is to be licensed. And then you go for internship or placement here. So in the UK or in other countries, it's called placement here. In Nigeria or in African countries, we call it internship. So you have to literally go for a one-year compulsory internship. And it's actually now to familiarize yourself. Oh, you've learned everything you needed to learn theoretically. It's now time to actually practicalize it on the bench, still real life scenario. That does not mean during your course program, obviously you're doing more practical, but now it's going to be in a different setting because now you're going to be working um, as a scientist in, you're going to be working as a scientist in the normal laboratory, but it's just that you're going to be on the training. So it's just like familiarizing you with, okay, you've learned this, this is the real world. This is what happens. It's not like there's so much of a difference, but then you get to learn different things, different skills, and then learn how to handle workloads. Then you start understanding workloads, being flexible, being able to work under pressure, and things like that. The second to the last thing that you need to know about biomedical scientists is salary. Now, what is the salary range? Because you can't be doing a free job. But basically, like I said, in different countries the salary range now i'm going to be giving a range of salaries and now salary also for biomedical science depends on a lot of things it depends on location it depends on if, for some countries it depends on if it's like a public sector some countries in the public sector they have like the band the band system like you have to enter on some certain levels of band system but if you're doing maybe in a private sector you might not apply so when i'm saying this so now the salary actually is dependent on a lot of components now this this is just like a wide range to give you an idea of how much you will be earning you might be earning within this range or somewhere around this range or in between this range or the higher band or the lower band or whatever the case may be so in nigeria the average salary for a starting the average salary after school and uh, for a biomedical scientist who is starting up is between 1 million to 2 million annually 1 million to 2 million annually in the uk is about 24,000 pounds to 28,000 pounds per year in the us is about 40,000 us dollars to 60,000 us dollars per year in canada is about 50,000 canadian dollars to 70,000 canadian dollars in ghana is about 20,000 ghana cities to 40,000 ghana cities now this is a wide range of um, a starting salary for someone which is fresh out of school graduates now like i said earlier it depends on location it depends on a lot of things but for the most part or for the higher percentage this is technically the um, salary range you'll be getting fresh out of school as a biomedical scientist trainee or a biomedical scientist graduate point number seven the very last point i'll be talking about is job satisfaction and this is very important if you're going to be considering taking biomedical sciences biomedical science as a well. whole and i think job satisfaction in this career path actually differ from people to people but then it's important to know what kind of person you are and also what the job entails it will help you know if you're going to be satisfied or not because trust me a job can pay you money and then it is frustrating 
it is frustrating mm -hmm. so it's very important for you to understand oh the kind of work it is is it do you like routine work do you like sitting down do you like doing the same thing Will you want to be in research so like i said job satisfaction for people for biomedical scientists i will not say the job satisfaction is very high um because i don't think there's any job where you can categorically give a, a rate for job satisfaction you can categorically give a rate for job satisfaction all you just need to know job satisfaction job satisfaction is based on individual preference but are you um, from personal experience i would say if you're a person who doesn't who wants to be you know you want to be in research you want to be in health without maybe so much um, interaction with patients because compared to other compared to some other careers in the health profession we actually do have limited um, we have we do have limited interactions with patients more more of what we work on a patient sample so the patient samples obviously represent the patient for us but we actually do have less limited interactions with patients or like you know the doctors or the people who are actually in the full forefront so like i said job satisfaction is dependent on individual what you what you like as a person i think that's also important to consider if you're going to be taking a course like biomedical sciences so not just running into it for the real of it if you're going to be in it for the long run you might as well know if you're going to be satisfied don't you think so it's going to be a long it's going to be a long journey so if you've been considering biomedical science as a course or you're in it already and you're like okay is this it what you're know, trying to make plans for the future i really hope this video has been helpful if you have any questions on this or concerning biomedical science please feel free to put them in the comment section down below i'll be in the comment section answering your questions do not forget to subscribe like share with your friends share with someone who you feel will need this share with someone who you feel oh is curious or is at that phase who is actually trying to contemplate what course or what career path should i go into so i do hope i have been able to shed light and if you decide to join the cool kids gang welcome let's go on this journey together